Elgin was one of Scotland's first royal boroughs, receiving its charter from David I in 1136. It is the historic centre of the diocese and county of Murray and was a significant settlement in the earlier medieval period. During the 15th century, the town's fortunes declined, but by the 17th and 18th centuries it had revived, becoming an important and thriving centre of trade. Excavations throughout the medieval core of Elgin have provided insights into the town's history. The early craftsmen in Elgin seem to have worked near Elgin Cathedral and at the east end of the High Street. Names like Glover Street, Shuttle Ra, now Collie Street, and Weaver Place are reminders of that time. This display is made up of various items reflecting the trade and industries of the borough. Crucible Late medieval handmade crucible showing industrial use, found in South Collis Street during archaeological excavation. The crucible is a hollow receptacle, usually of clay or metal, and used for melting metals. Safety spectacles. Horn rimmed with clear glass lenses and probably used by an elegant craftsman for safety reasons when working. Silversmithing was an important craft in Elgin. The silversmiths belonged to the hammermen's trade and this is the hammermen's crest. It's carved in oak with a coat of arms of the hammermen of the incorporated trades of Elgin. Carved with the motto, our art or all mechanics, he's renowned our arm are the hammer and the crown, 1686. Silver spoons crafted in Elgin. From left to right, the silversmiths are Joseph Pozzi, 1789 to 1871, Charles Fowler, 1790 to 1820, Thomas Stewart, 1784 to 1856, William Ferguson, 1802 to 1875, and Thomas Stewart, 1784 to 1856. Another common trade in Elgin was shoemaking. This stone carving depicts Saint Crispin, the patron saint of shoemakers, and dates from the 17th to 18th century. It was found at the junction of Collie Street and North College Street in Elgin. The stone may originally have been painted, as traces can be seen on parts of the carving. This pair of white goatskin or kid boots was made by Mr. Anderson, shoemaker in South Street, Elgin, circa 1870. This worn leather boot of a very small child was found in the rafters of a house at the Harbour Head in Buckpool. This leather male shoe was found in the roof space of Elgin Museum during renovations in 2003. It may have been placed there for good luck when the museum was built in 1842. Weaving was another important trade in Elgin. This wooden weaver's box dates from 1658. The boxmaster of the trade was in charge of the weaver's box, which could hold important documents and money. The trades owned land in Elgin and distributed money for the relief of widows and the sick. In addition to initials, a heart and a tull are inscribed on the lid. The toll booth was the centre of law and order in Elgin, although there are no records of the building before the 16th century. It stood at the west end of the Plainstones, in the cobbled area in the foreground of this photograph. It was the meeting place of the town council and the courts, and it contained separate prisons for debtors, criminals and disturbers of the peace. The last toll booth was taken down in 1843. The Town Drum in 1762, William Edward was appointed drummer at an annual salary of £24 Scots. He had to beat the drum at 4 o'clock in the morning and 9 o'clock at night as he walked up the High Street and along the South Street. Those who misbehaved might be drummed out of town. The life of the borough changed with the Reform Bill of 1832. However, voting was still restricted to men who occupied homes with a value of £10, and only one in seven men gained the vote. The trade's influence declined from this time. These letters form part of a collection of 55 letters of claim and objection regarding voting in Murray in the 19th century.
Reform Medal. This medal commemorates Gray, Russell and Rome by name, engineers of the Reform Act, which was passed on the 7th of June 1832, and also of the Scottish Reform Act passed in the July of that year. It was an Act of Parliament that introduced wide-ranging changes to the election laws in Scotland. The reverse of the medal is stamped, the confidence of the people, corruption destroyed, purity restored. Plaster model of John Shanks, 1758-1841, Keeper of Elgin Cathedral. After John Shanks, sometimes referred to as the Druthy Cobbler, cleared away the rubbish from Elgin Cathedral, it became the major tourist attraction of the borough. These tourist trinkets of cups and saucers display the coat of arms of Elgin and date from the 19th century. These types of trinkets were popular tourist souvenirs during the 19th century. John Shanks's Snuffbox The work that John Shanks carried out at the cathedral was recognised by the borough of Elgin when he was presented with this fine silver snuffbox made by Elgin silversmith William Ferguson in the late 1830s. Inscribed with an image of Elgin Cathedral on the front and on the reverse with a vote of thanks as follows. From the inhabitants of Elgin as a reward to John Shanks, keeper of the cathedral, for his attention and care of it generally and in particular for discovering on the 23rd September 1833 four steps in front of the grand entrance which had been hid by rubbish for centuries and have now restored this noble part of the building to its just proportion.